Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. Our top story is the weather. You're taking a look at exact track 40 radar. The forewarned weather team is tracking a strong storm with heavy winds making its way through southeast Michigan. Let's get you now to a live look outside right now at one of our sky cams in downtown Detroit. A wind advisory is in effect until midnight. And with the wind comes something that's become all too familiar, power outages. DTE reports worth 35,000 customers are without power. That number could go up throughout the night. Many of those outages are in Oakland County. Thanks for joining us. I'm Will Jones. Glad to have you with us here tonight. I'm Pamela Osborne. This latest round of wintry weather could bring snow later tonight. Let's get right over to forewarned meteorologist Ron Hilliard with a look at our forecast. Hey, Ron. Hey, Pamela and Will. One of the things we've been seeing, the gusty winds, the rain, the snow today. We had the ice storm not too long ago. Some branches have already been broken and loosened, and these winds up to 50, 60 miles per hour with gusts have been bringing them down. Looking at exact track 4D radar right now, we're starting to see the transition from rain over to snow. Let's get a closer look. We're seeing that snow coming down in places such as Waterford and Pontiac. We're seeing it across the area. This transitioning over, of course, to snow as of right now, but that ground is still warm out there. We have temperatures in the upper 30s to so around 40 degrees. This is the view into downtown. You see the waves on the Detroit River. They are whipping out there pretty choppy. It's 40 degrees right now. That's why we're not seeing any of those snowflakes out there accumulating. There's no risk of that right now. We have those winds sustained right now. 38 miles per hour, not including the gusts out there. The temperatures across the area, we have 37 degrees in Lapeer, it's 36 in Pontiac, 40 at Detroit Metro Airport. Let's talk a little bit more about that wind advisory. It goes until midnight, including the majority of Southeast Michigan, not including in that is the Genesee County area, but we still have those gusty winds out there. Those winds right now up to 35 in Detroit. We have 23 miles per hour in Mount Clemens. We bring in those gusts and some of those gusts again as high as 50 even 60 miles per hour. So for the rest of tonight, we have the rain and snow showers across the area. We will have gusts in excess of 40 miles per hour. And because of the lowering temperatures, the moisture on the roads could actually freeze up and we could have some slick spots out there. We'll have a little bit more coming up, but I want you to know that you should be tracking this along with us. You can download the forewarned weather app. This is new. You can see the 4D Exact track radar, get hour by hour forecast whenever you want, right in the palm of your hand. It's free from Apple or Android. Just search WDIV. Ron, thank you. And taking all of that into consideration, DTE Energy has several safety reminders as the wind moves through much of southeast Michigan tonight. Remember to stay 25 feet away from any down wires and don't touch anything those wires may be in contact with. Call DTE at 1-800-477-477. 4747 if you do see a down line and be aware that wires behind yellow tape may still be live and we know a lot of people are making use of generators but you should never use a portable generator inside your home stay with local four and click on detroit.com throughout the night for the latest power outage numbers now to a developing story. The United Auto Workers will have a new president. That is right. Candidate Sean Fain claiming victory tonight over incumbent Ray Curry in a historic first ever direct election for the union's highest office. Jacqueline Francis is live outside of UAW headquarters with the very latest. Jacqueline. That's that's right. Sean Fain will be sworn in tomorrow. That's according to a statement from the current UAW President Ray Curry. Curry releasing a statement today following that close and contentious race. This is the new face of the UAW. Sean Fain declaring victory Saturday in the runoff election for president. 54 year old Fain is an electrician from Indiana. He spent the last decade as a committee person and top aide to UAW Stellantis Vice President Cindy Estrada, who's now retired. In a statement announcing his win, Fain called it a referendum on the direction of the UAW, writing, quote, for too long, the UAW has been controlled by leadership with a top-down company union philosophy who have been unwilling to confront management. And as a result, we've seen nothing but concessions, corruption, and plant closures. It is clear that our membership has long wanted to see a more aggressive approach with our employers. Incumbent President Ray Curry conceded the race Saturday, saying his opponent will be sworn in Sunday. 
as President Fain is expected to chair the 2023 Special Bargaining Convention. So as the new president, Fain will soon be put to the test as the UAW is preparing for contract bargaining this year with Ford, GM and Stellantis. Reporting live from UAW headquarters in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline, thank you. For those who make a living off cannabis retail, Detroit social equity licensing is giving retailers opportunities. High profile cannabis on Detroit's east side is the latest Detroit legacy certified shop to open its doors. The limited recreational ordinance was approved by the city in 2020 and granted 34 total licenses in the first round to dispensaries across Detroit. While there were other folks who sued the city and fought the ordinance when it was equitable, we put together a great application. We fought for things that we wanted to see in the neighborhood while we weren't even making money here. We continued to invest in our neighborhoods, and we're going to continue to do that. High-profile cannabis was closed for two years but celebrated its grand reopening today. Still a lot more to come here on Local 4 News at 6. Here's Megan Woods. From getting a free suit fitted just for them to mock interviews, we take you to the 17th annual event that's making sure young men are ready for their future.